Good morning. Super Kigo. How you doing? How we're doing this morning? I'm a little bit early, which is fine, not late. And get to finish this off today. Just got a little bit of stuff to do on the hair. And then the coffee mug. Cool. Almost done. Now I have to redrill out the bottom because it's the wrong size for the peg. Uh, Pastel blue, white, emerald green, black. That should be it. <clears throat> Good morning, how's it going? It's going good. It's going good. It's not overly cold this morning, which is fantastic. I have coffee. I'm painting a fantastic model to paint. Cannot complain. I also don't have to work today. So yeah, doing well this morning. Oh yeah, I do need to change my glasses. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a professional. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> don't know why that dollar sign came up. <laughs> We're getting all of them out there. <laughs> oh. Super fucking cut her. 
And it might have just been that one. Yeah. I don't know why it came up with... Decides to go, let's have a dollar sign at the front. It confuses me. But it's not like you know until you use the command. So, how's everyone else this morning? What are other people up to? Brented, how you doing my dude? Welcome in. Hanging out with people in Discord, watching you, watching them paint, petting the cat. Seems fairly good. Baked. <laughs> Dude, when are you not baked? <laughs> Genuine Vision, thanks for the follow. Welcome in, how you doing? How you doing? Let's put some blue in there just to chill it the fuck out. Spin that a bit more. Gaby, how you doing? How's your Sunday going? Hey, that was quick. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. We're looking at the back of the model at the moment, unfortunately. Half a half damage. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, is this some cozy? This is a cozy. Just finishing her off. Welcome in, everyone. How you doing? Love cozy. It's a fantastic model to paint. I've enjoyed this so much. Uh, for those who don't know. I'm Hixie, I'm a display painter from Australia, working on the cozy, how you doing, zombie man, looks feathers, thank you. Teveston, thanks for the follow, and zombie man, missed that one, thanks for the follow, uh, genuine vision, what were you working on, what were you doing? Got photos, please share. After us nicely, cock for fuck's sake, Katie. For fuck's sake. Yes, I'm Australian display painter from display painter from Australia. I know how words work. Uh, currently working on Zikozi, trying to get it finished. And this is a commission. Started on a Necromunda model from Forge World, Eight Foot Harvest Lord. Lovely sky. Oh, I love that one. That's a great one. I've got the um uh squat 
bounty hunter hired gun. Can't remember if he's a bounty hunter or a hired gun. Um, and the hobo with a shotgun that I've had for quite a few years and have just never gotten around to painting them. <laughs> um, love me some Necromunda. Love me some Necromunda. So I'm just sketching in colours at the moment. If you've got photos, please feel free to share. We are link friendly. That goes with anyone. <laughs> But welcome in. It's a commission piece, so making a start on the metallic underwork. No photos yet, though. No worries. If you've got anything else you'd like to share, by all means do. I'd love to have a look at what your work is like. Why is hair bullshit to paint? But some of my other work, if I grab, while we're up, put that down on so it doesn't scratch and shit. Um, other work of mine includes, let's grab this one to start with. Um, this is a lock and load by Robert Rocket Miniatures I'm working on. But I haven't touched in quite a few months. <laughs> but she's coming along. Still got an AR to paint. Another commission I'm working on is Waiting by Limbo Miniatures. Big thing for this is getting the cloth to look right, but it's taken a long time. Also, I haven't touched it in a couple of weeks because I've been working on Cozy. Getting her done. And this was a commission that I get to take to a... Yep. Competition in July. Which I'm super happy with because this is ah so nice. I loved painting this. I smashed through this one. Yeah. Just go do the backdrop for that. <laughs> Love that one. Yeah. Um, cozy, uh, not cozy. Tea Party was an absolute joy to paint. I should check to see if they've still got some and get one for myself. I've got a friend giving me another, printed out another copy of cozy for me to keep yeah
anyone's got anything that they want to show off, by all means, chuck a link in the chat. Or there is a Discord, if you wish. I don't understand that everyone's got a Discord these days. But I don't generally paint smooth blends. It's not the style that I go for. Uh, that's why we've got nice, lovely texturing happening. Anyone's got any questions, by all means, ask away. This is Mark Rosy. Ooh, I need to see that. Hey, ooh, oh, I love the free hand on the jumper. The mug's really nice. The hair's great. That's really cool. <gasps> Wait. No, that's not the one. Why does Ross, the largest friend, not simply eat the other five? Because he might be the largest friend, but he's also the weakest. He relies on the other friends to survive. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. what you're doing that's fantastic I like the teal for the hair as well. Thank you. Let's, so I use uh, Scale Artist Paints. Um, so this is a mix of Emerald Green, Artist Black, Artist White, and Pastel Blue. And I'll use the white and the pastel blue and maybe get out some um, 
Arctic Blue to brighten it up. No matter how you doing, welcome in my dude. But we're not going to be going as bright as the front. Because we're doing the back and the back's in shadow and I can't be fucked. I will smoothen out the blends a little bit for the hair though. I'm tired as hell. <laughs> Join the club. I'll stand it on my feet. I'm doing good. It's not overly cold this morning. It's a balmy eight degrees. We're trying to finish cozy. No, nah, eight degrees isn't overly really cold. Yesterday morning it was minus one. <laughs> that was fucking cold. The alternative is zero. No, the alternatives and the negatives, my dude. Eight degrees. Where? Uh, Australia. We're coming into winter. Coming in the winter, uh, we got two days. I want to say two days. At least 31 days, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so <it's> this guy. <laughs> Yes, we we use Celsius. I don't understand Fahrenheit. <laughs> no, you're all good. You're all good. Oh, good. I forget to say Celsius when I'm talking temperatures because I just don't think. Oh, I got to do one there as well. Jinxed, how you doing? Tired from lack of sleep after this week and so is hell in the neck and back from finishing up a mini over the past few days. Mm -hmm. Pushing that grind. Thanks for the shout out to Jinx. How you doing, Jinx? I'm sorry I missed your um, stream on Saturday. For me. It's Friday for you, I think. Um, work. I've got a busy week at work this week as well. Like, Wednesday, have Thursday off. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So 
gonna drive me insane. Do with some coffee? Like this model. <laughs> yeah. She got a coffee. Well, she will have a coffee. Once I done this, do this hair. I really overpaint in hair. Let's get some bald models in here. Good goal. Best you in morning hours too. I really don't get anything done. <laughs> get it. Uh, are we not focusing? I'll be lucky to get anything done. Ten twenty here and just winding down for a long day before I drop my head on my pillow. Yep. That's understandable. That is very understandable. Mm. I've asked this before and I'm gonna ask it again. Why does coffee go cold really quickly? It's 1.20 p.m. but I'm starting my <laughs> Why are you only just starting your day at 1 o'clock in the afternoon? Straight. I've been watching mini painting on streams while painting for six of them. Nice. I like long painting hauls. I find them really relaxing. Like I've done some painting sessions that have lasted oh, 12 hours. I think the longest was 14 hours. That's how I roll, mornings are dumb. Yeah, I can't argue with that statement. No, mornings are dumb. You hate my life then, I wake up for no reason around 6, 8 morning. Even when I had four, <laughs> bed four in the night, yep. Welcome to my life. To get paid this week, which is good because that means shut up, point. I want me some Star Wars models. And I finally remembered yesterday to put in my leave for the um, July competition. Hopefully that gets approved.
I mean, that was no worries, Bridget. That's what I mean. I don't understand you people. Yeah, I said you people. <laughs> you get no sleep. Can't comprehend. It's called insomnia. I hate my life. Did I just hear Mew? I uh, yes. Um, the cat has been fed, and now he's having a he's a feel about something. Mew, it's not a choice. Believe me. <laughs> yeah, there are some days. I want you to paint a plague marine. How much are space marine heroes in Australia? Uh, no idea. <laughs> no, it can't be that much. One call six euros here. That means fucking nothing to me. It's like, I think they're like 15 bucks. Hang on. Oh, that's right, it's Monday, so all the pre order shit. Yeah, it, it's not a straight conversion, right? Um, Australia gets shafted with GW prices. Oh, it's me. Do, 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 do what's happening? And those are coming. Death Guard heroes. Cool. Well, oh, I just want the fucking Nerglings. New Underworlds. Oh, they're cool. Books, 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 books. Whatever the fuck those are. Jesus. Oh, new episode of Black Tunnel. Cool. Um, okay. Let us see. Oh, I know those marine things in your hands. <laughs> New Plague Marines will land. They used to be exclusive to China and Japan. Uh, they were exclusive to Japan, um, but all the heroes have come out, like, the rest of the world about a year after they've been in Japan. Um, smart play by um, GW, actually, because... Japan gets to be like, we've got the special thing, you don't. And the rest of us like, me want. Fucking annoys me. I knew my little play guys are coming into my hands. And it's that they all have a pet noodle on the scalp. Yeah. That's just standard. Uh, space ring heroes. Hang on. Put you there before I drop you. Um. Yeah, I think they're like 15 bucks. I haven't got a price for them. I can't find one. Right, let's get the eBay scalp, scalping bullshit. Uh, <laughs> fucking combat companies are pricks. <laughs> Uh, 15 to 20 bucks seems to be the asking price. Not on eBay. On eBay, they're like fucking 
80 plus bucks, which is stupid. I don't know. 9.95 from the gamesman. Plus five dollars thirteen delivery. Fuck that. Ten bucks plus ten bucks delivery. So yeah, train fifteen and twenty. Oh, they will a hundred percent get them. A hundred percent, they will get them. Next week, I'll be able to tell you how much it's going to cost Australia. Um, can you have a pretty neat set. The Akrabara has a wormling. Mm -hmm. Dropped a handful of pictures of the silly quartered marine in Discord earlier, by the way. So, happy I'm done with it. Now I need to check GW for a few minutes for a crazy good brush I want to do. I saw your Stormcast Marine. It looks fantastic. You've done super well. Love a good quartered color scheme. Printed and the leader got flies. Yep. Maybe you're like, you like a has that? I gotta get myself the whole pack. Enter the local push. Nice! Excellent. Let us know how you do. Even, I even managed to use my entire limited selection of paints at least once. All 18 pots. <laughs> I have a pretty shot of the horrid model I'm working on for Indy. Ooh. Oh, that's looking fantastic, Katie. That's looking excellent. It is truly fucked up. <laughs> this is just another leg. Why is there a leg? <laughs> I'll see how it's gonna go. So I'm pretty nicely painting the news there already. <laughs> the fact that you've put something in is an achievement all in its own. I know some people that take those community painting comps that GW does way too seriously. Like, way too seriously. Needs more legs and less guts and trippy parts. <laughs> it is not a Pronio ride, I'll take. <laughs> it's so good. But there is just a random leg on the base. Like, I can't tell if it's attached to a body, but there is a leg, <laughs> which is fantastic. Leg for the win. Oh, cool. Things mighty. 
You need to get your hands on the sassy Nogwin. And have him standing on top of a pile of skulls and call him a greater demon. Ready model of Sassy Nogwin for my desk. Yeah, I think GW has like really cut down on um, 3D models of that model as well, in particular because it's a huge marketing point <laughs> for them. Sassy Noglin, but he's already on my world of contagion. Possible. They're gonna make a pack called Oops All Nerglings and just all the exclusive. Yeah, I, I've said that before because that is something that I'd buy. Like, granted, I have a pile of Nerglings already, but I want more. Like, I have the sassy Nurgling sitting there that I need to do something with. Yeah, it'll happen eventually. No matter how big your Nurgling pile is, it's never big enough. Oh, no. Nerglings are one of those things that I love. Yep, that's fucking not going to happen. Bunch of fucking dead animals. I think about Nerglings, I'm thinking I need to blow my nose clean of snot. <laughs> I'm going to try and enter the Mighty Contest with my 97 great. Oh, dude, that would be dope. That is an old-ass model, and it's fantastic. Yeah, so do I. Well, not quite when it was released, but the first time I saw it, I was like, the fuck is that thing? Heavy pile of mini. Oh, yeah. Solid chunk of pewter. It was seven years before my birth, but I remember the release. <laughs>
Uh, cold coffee. Was in my painting prime back then. <laughs> and if I could enter the mighty contest with a nerdling, he said I gotta give him a hella good sales pitch for that. Um, two words. Well, not even two words. Just one word. Sassy. <laughs> Also, tell them not to yucky, um. So, the, my local Warhammer Shops community, if we were given the whole, um, mighty theme, everyone would take the piss. Everyone. That's like, do we have enough sassy nerglings to go around? Yes, excellent. That's what we're doing. Everyone would take the piss. Cold coffee indeed. We're back going to take a trip to the microwave. Actually, everyone's going with, let's go. <laughs> My argument for the seven great unclean one will be that it could kill a man. Yeah, no. I think the great unclean one's mighty. Quite well, frankly, personally, I think a Nurgling can be mighty. Mighty doesn't necessarily mean heroic. Yeah, it's about as heavy as a brick. <laughs> exactly. You get that thing. If he disagrees with you, you get it, you throw it at him, and you'll fucking kill him. <laughs> Please don't stick me in the microwave oven. I might go pop in there. Most people would go pop. I say most. Oh yeah, I painted three minis today. Hell yeah. I painted one mini over three days. You are... It is not a race. How long does it take me to paint something? Like I've been painting this morning for almost an hour. I'm still working on light placement. <laughs> yeah, I finally bought a Defiler model. Nice. Those are big models, if I remember rightly. It's been ages since I've seen one in person.
We have a plan for the base. Regen mentioned something and Votan helmet landed there. And well, one hour later, I added green stuff to <laughs> My local GW guy said it's been about four years since anyone mentioned a defiler. I would not be surprised if it's longer. Love when people get my mind ticking about what I could do. Yeah, no. Use other people for inspiration. I really gotta speed this up because I want to get this done today. <laughs> hot coffee, go. Too hot coffee. <laughs> Give it a second. <laughs> Saw some show, show cast earlier. Some minis got me thinking wizard carving symbols into the ground with his own magic. Hellbent on doing it now. Yeah, no, nah, um. Person I know, Evelina Minches, she did a storm cast floating in blood and she had the droplets going upwards. Fucking did my head in. How she did that. You didn't blow me up in the microwave, thanks. Yep. That's a positive. Painted my Festus today. Only his stick left. A red Venus. Yep. <laughs> Festus is a sick model. I love that model, but it's fine cast, so I'm never going to touch it with a 10 foot pole. Free Guild on Griffin, I'm tempted for sure. Oh, that's a fantastic model. I love a lot of the old Free Guild stuff. Um, used to play Empire, but I don't think I've got the models anymore, which is a shame.
thing about it, he said I want several different kits to mash up to make the wizard and an oversized base to try and make it look epic and unique. Yeah, no, I get that. Um, be careful with the oversized base. Um, because you don't want it to feel empty. Which is the issue with my gulking. I put him too far back. Like, I'm really happy with how the Ghoul King came out. But he's too far back on the base. And the front of it seems very empty. Let's get some more of this. I'll be carving and sculpting into the base of a big hexagram or whatever the wizard is produced. Yeah, so um, I'll bring up my Gulf King and show you because I, I originally thought that, oh no, I've got shit, ha shit on the base itself. Um, bit of bricks and stuff. Yeah, I thought similar stuff, right? Um, oh. Uh, let's bring this out. Say, so I've got bone and stuff at the front. I've got skulls and everything. It's all textured and leads up to him. Um... But, especially when you look at it from the side on view, it's very empty. I love that. I do as well. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Very happy with how it turned out. But if I was to do something different, I'd push him forward. I'd have him sit in. Where his sword is, is where I'd have him. Um, but yeah, you want to be careful about your dead space on the base itself because it can, no, no, no. So I'd push him forward to where the sword is. So the sword would be in front again, but he'd be more central to the base because there's just a lot of dead space at the, um, front of the model. And that's what you want to be careful about is not leaving too much dead air for a lack of a better term at the dead white space lately well it's important part of composition that's why you got to think about your composition mm -hmm. Bye bye, Bria. Awesome idea is Mini is kind of centered, but still a lot of detail on a fairly empty base below. Yeah. Which is what you, what you want to be careful of that is just, you want to focus the eye, but you don't want a lot of useless area. Um, and given fancy, lots of cloth flopping back. Yep. That's fair. It's just something to keep in mind.
I mean, my second learning curve. I make good and bad alike. Most important, I enjoy the process. Yes, a hundred percent. Hundred percent. So long as you're enjoying what you're doing, then it's fine. I I just mention it because that is something that I wish I paid more attention to when I was doing the gulking. I posted Festus and Whip. Oh, I'll have a quick look see. Yes. Proper disgusting. Love the fact that the Nurgling's just throwing a leg in there. <laughs> I mean, I'm super happy finishing off Quad Moon today, but it was a fun journey for sure. Yeah. Big mini greeny, yep. I want to paint more horror models. I don't have enough. pieces I'll send you a 3D bust of me <laughs> oh don't say that about yourself um oh shit missed a bunch of stuff uh I made him big mini greeny reckon I spent what 20 hours on it yeah. between converting sculpting and painting don't know what colors to make the big metal guy green no go green <laughs> Not particularly fond of the jetpack though, but that's my only this. I'll have another look. Her pieces. Down to Kigo beat me to it. <laughs> Crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> There's a wonderful Windago I have. You back? Yeah, no, I've seen the Windago. My face on the bus. Jesus Christ, Katie, stop it. <laughs> um, I'd like the Windago. Because I like a good Windago. Um, there's a particular 3D print that I want to get done. See if I can quickly find it. Oh, yeah. Back then, GW did not give a fuck. <laughs> the Lamus. <laughs> Smith backpack on the, my quarter. Yeah. And let's look at the backpack. I like the backpack. Um, uh, so all I could say with the backpack. Maybe some small highlights. 
but otherwise I think it fits in great with the rest of the model. You could always get rid of it being silver altogether and actually um, split it in half like the rest of the model because it's on the just on the torso. Um, you just go half yellow on one side, blue on the other. But otherwise, I think it's completely fine. I think it fits in really, really well. I'd have like been more gritty. Yeah, you could. Eh, I'm in two minds about making stuff overly dirty and everything. On one hand, it can really add, but if you go too far, it doesn't look great. I wanted it metal mainly, but I wanted it far more torn, worn and torn. Yeah, it it can be difficult. Um, should be in busts. In the shadows, and in the gallows. Where is the fucker? Did I put it in the house? Should be in the house collection. So i paint Big Jim, aka the stinker. <laughs> oh, that's mean. He ain't a big stinker. Ah, there he is. I want to paint this fucker. Cause that's so cool. And it's got a weird base thing. But that's really cool. I'm going to 3 paint the main plate. Nice. And for the record, I don't enjoy true metallic with my current selections and washes and metals. Yeah. I really want to paint this. And it's free. I just have to get it printed off. But it's so nice. Lots of metals. Weird fleshy texture um, down here. And then the cloth. Ooh. Ooh. Um. No, not in mind. Just something I'd like to paint. <laughs> That's wicked. Yeah. So you can fuck off. Uh, let's get rid of that. Come on. Of course. Stop looking at shiny, shiny. So it is a free download. So if you do want that one for yourself, um, in the 3D print, channel on the Discord, the pinned messages, one of them's to a collection of busts. It's in there, down towards the bottom. Tense glowy eyes behind the face cloth. Zero access to 3D printer. Eh, you'll be surprised. There are a lot of companies out there that will 3D print files for you. 
that can be expensive sometimes. But if there's something there that you really want to paint, it might be worth it. Not paying for learning a 3D printer in public sites and can't afford one to have room. Yeah, no, but you can send files to some companies and they'll print it off for you and clean it and all that sort of stuff and then send it to you. Post the print off to you. My head is stuck in Wizard Gutter though. <laughs> That's fair. Try sketching it up. Yeah. Sketching things up is always a useful process. Yeah, an idea about size and placement. So I want to get this done today and at this rate I'm going to be here much longer than my normal three hours. Fetching refill pen and paper. <laughs> Anyone know a website for nameplate STLs? I uh, checked my mini factory. My mini factory is my go to site for STLs. Well, my mini factory and CG trader. Oh, look at it, Diego, on the ball. Is this nameplate creator? Yeah, that's cool. It's expensive, but that's cool. Just get a um, Dremel. That's what I use. Do -do 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 -do.
let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Bit more. There we go. There a little bit more, a bit more green into it, a little too blue. for this song. Do you just have the hair to do? I have the hair and the fish off the coffee mug. I need to do the liquid inside and do a bit of freehand on the front. But she's getting finished today. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> yeah, she's almost done. And I've almost finished the hair. Because we're working on the back, so it's in shadow. I'm not going as bright. The defo penny cash. <laughs> yeah, definitely spending cash on this idea. Yeah, it's going to cost you, but all the good things are going to. Once I get this hair done, I'll go for a quick break. And then we'll get back, I'll finish up the mug and do the liquid. Turn around, show me I'm better. People got an apple. Oh my god, found the nameplate. Nice, need to scout out the GW site for miniature ideas towards it though. Oh, by the way, Hixie, when did you start the that challenge stuff? Oh, uh, so the challenge stuff will start on, hang on, uh, Thursday? I think it's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. 
so Thursday the channel will go up um, and the what the challenge is and you'll have all of June to do it so those who don't know on Thursday I'm going to start doing monthly painting challenges um, just to help people get a bit of hobby done learn something new um, mostly to practice those fundamentals because fundamentals are important um, get um, just get some practice under people's belts um, challenge stuff as far as I gather he challenges us some techniques right? yeah tequilas oh we're not getting into tequila as much as I love tequila never again um, so the first challenge will be painting red and green without it looking like Christmas. <laughs> no burn to kill. <laughs> Paint better after a few drinks. <laughs> That's what we all think. I had a friend who painted 200 Skaven. Drunk. To be fair, it was the only way I was going to get it done. Well, I don't see the mistakes while I'm drunk. Exactly. That's why we think we're better, because we it's the morning after that you go, Hmm, this was a bad idea. <laughs> I tend to chill with a glass of wine when painting or drawing. Yeah, no, that's fair. That is fair. Let shit dry, you dickhead. Uh, you said red and green without looking like Xmas, other colors left. Oh yeah, you can use other colors. Um, but the idea is like, to get a good contrast between red and green because they're contrasting complementary colors but a lot of people when doing it it just comes out looking like fucking Christmas and as someone who doesn't like Christmas um, does my head in So you want to stick to the red and green spectrums, but not... A big hint is... <laughs> brain already working? Yeah. Um, big hint for it is stick away from primary red. And that staple Christmas green. Stick away from those. Desaturate it. Um, Hypersaturate it. Do different things. And then different hues into it to change the colour slightly. But, yeah. And I'll pick a winner out of any of the submissions. And they get bragging rights for a month. So uh, just little friendly competition.
Nothing serious. What do people get? Bragging rights. You get bragging rights for a month. Her respect and love, exactly. What's the competition? Uh, the painting challenge. Hobby challenge, sorry. So there will be a hobby challenge from Thursday. I remember. Uh, painting red and green without it looking like Christmas. Uh, no, no more requirements. Yeah, the challenge idea sounds really fun and thoughtful. Yeah, no, uh, it's nothing serious. Like, have fun with it. You've got a full month, so you don't have to rush anything. Unless if you leave it to the last minute, in which case, haha, <laughs> that's your own fault. And just a little bit of practice sort of thing for people. But yeah, just a simple bit of colour theory stuff. Um, looking at my two pots, my only red and only green at the moment. <laughs> I'm turned in on the printer. This is a great excuse to print some more. <laughs> I did. You do, my dude. <laughs> you want to print more, print more. <laughs> Guess I'll prime up one of my crash test moons tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, you may as well get started. Um, I'll create a channel on the Discord on Thursday. So it'll be Thursday my turn my time um, and yeah it will all be outlined on there in thoughtful hopefully detailed and then go nuts or do I order orc Look, to be completely fair, if you follow um, Games Workshop's Iron Jaws stuff for their red armoured orcs, on a good start. Hecatone, how you doing my dude? Welcome in. Can we get a shout out for Hecatone, please? I do have an orc kill team. <laughs> could I paint a Christmas model? You could, would not be... F not sure how that would go with the whole not look like Christmas thing, but by all means, go for your life. See what you come up with, how you make a Christmas model not look Christmassy. My horse to the hotel road, I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. Man, man. Well, it's not a Uh, just woke up. Yeah, no, that's fair. You're in South Australia, aren't you? 
feel like they're in South Australia. Maybe Queensland. Not sure. Um, second time today I get to say hi to you, but no, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I would like to engage with this challenge. You're more than welcome to. Um, like I said, I'll put up the channel in on Thursday, my time. I won't be streaming on Thursday, my time. It's my day off from streaming. It's my day to just chill and get other shit done. Given the fact I probably have zero idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Give you the same. I like challenge towards improving myself. Exactly. That's what it's all about is just trying new things. Try and improve. And it's just a bit of colour theory stuff. And it's a fairly simple colour theory thing because it's red and green so it's already complementary to each other. So it's gonna be hard to make it look awful. Um... Um, but it'll get you thinking about your hues, your saturation, all that jazz. But like I said, little fun challenge, bit of competition but nothing serious. I wish the weekends were longer, honestly. I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, my dude. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, Love Channel gives me more ways to paint. The last 15 years have been weekend. I wish I had something five days a week. <laughs> Stupid, creepy horses challenging me a bit too much, maybe. No, I think you're doing well. I think you're doing well. Just take your time with it. And yeah, if you need some, um, if you need a, a hand with anything, or you want to ride anything by me, just shoot me a message. Happy to give you a hand if you need to, need it. I'm okay with steady with English, but you're saying things I don't fully understand. Was the same when I moved to England to live with my ex. What she said in the kitchen made no sense. <laughs> well, I want to go for dark green or dark red. Depends on what you're painting. Um, no matter what did I say that you didn't understand, I do apologize. No, no, do not start painting now. <laughs> nah, you want to paint.
that was a big thing that helped me get better with painting. Any time that I felt like painting, this fucking, what is wrong with this? That's what's wrong. Any time I wanted to paint, I'd just start painting. Didn't matter what time it was, if it was, I'm in the mood to paint, I'm going to paint. Don't worry, really. <laughs> okay. Can't tell you what I'm painting. It's a surprise. Fair enough. Reckon that it's blending, mixing, and adding contrast. Yeah. Partially. Um, so, red and green, you're lucky. It's already complementary contrasting colors. They're generally going to look good together no matter what you do. It's changing the hue and the saturation away from those staple green and primary red. That's your biggest thing, is that you want to stay away from primary red and that staple green. Can't say primary green because it's not a primary color. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> you just said what's <laughs> hue and exaggerations. Yep, those two words. Russia's fine Google try. Alright, uh, right. So hue is where you've got your colour wheel. Red is primary though, yeah. So you want to stay away from the primary red because primary red is a staple colour of the Christmas theme. Um, so when you got your colour wheel, and I don't have a colour wheel, <laughs> hang on, I'll find a colour wheel very, very quickly. Here we are. Why would someone buy a colour wheel? Fucking dickheads. <laughs> No, I don't want to open the link. I want to open the image. Do, 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 do. Google capture. Beep. Well. So you got your color wheel. The hue is moving around the color wheel in clockwise or anti-clockwise way. It's just changing from one color to another. Those are right. Yeah, these are the right glasses. They're red. I changed after you put the thing up earlier. Um, so yeah, Hugh is going around the color wheel clockwise or anti-clockwise, just changing the color. Um, and then saturation is so if this was a proper fucking color wheel can we get a proper one uh, yes there do, 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 do. new tab do. that is fucking tiny let's not use that one can we go to this that's better. Uh, saturation. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> um, saturation is going from... So... In here, in the middle, is very desaturated. Out at the back, where it's really dark, is also really desaturated. The middle section where you get that nice vibrant color is very saturated. That's actually a really good, almost good color wheel. This warm, cool split is bullshit. You can have warm blues, you can have cool yellows, but this split means fucking nothing. 
Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, your center area is where you get your um, really saturated, vibrant colors. And then adding white or black will desaturate it. Um, so, round here is your primary red. And this is sort of that staple green. So, they're on that center line. They're on that center line. And that's how you, those two colors are how you generally get your Christmassy bullshit. Hope that helps. <laughs> Um, I can, I will put a, uh, color wheel in there. Um, I should have a better one than that. Um, actually, is there a color wheel already in there? If you go to references. No, there isn't. Okay. I should have a better color wheel than that. I'll find a good color wheel and put it in there. I literally got no education in art whatsoever. I just do stuff. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. And that's what this is. This first challenge is about is just quite a simple, um, quite a simple color theory. bit of practice. <laughs> the fun little community challenges. Yeah, fun little community challenges. Gives you something to practice. From this to full mini with non-metallic metals. <laughs> nah, I don't like doing that. I'm not going to make anyone else do it. <laughs> there might be something in the far future with non-metallics, but at the moment it's just little practice-y things. If I don't focus, I'm never going to get this done. But yeah, the challenge will go up on Thursday, my time. I'll edit the schedule to include that in there. David, I agree 100%. Streamers painting seem their work and others make me do way more. Yep. That's the way to do it. I like the idea of comparing my work to others because it's not, if you do it the right way, it's a motivating thing. If you do it the wrong way, you just get disheartened and go, no, can't be fucked. But if you do it the right way, it's like, oh, how can I improve? which is what we're all about. Okay, that's the head on. I'm fairly certain that's the head on. All we got left is the mug. And then small changes are just really fun to participate in. Yeah. Still need to sort a list of paints I desperately need. 
Well, if you've got primary red, yellow, and blue, um, a dark ultramarine, and white, you can do anything you need. Oh, black can also be useful, but it's not a necessity. I'm going for a quick break <laughs> before I come back and why do I have a hmm. got Kanto Blue as my only blue. Cantor Blue is a good dark ultramarine. So ultramarines are um more the staple artist color um but yeah Cantor would be the GW um equivalent it is by Miss a brighter one for sure oh yeah um a primary blue would be very very useful um have a quick squeeze and I'm hating the pots they're in. I don't mind the GW pots. Uh, painting modeling. If you want to stick with GW paints, fuck me, why do I have so many blues? Um, Techless Blue. Yeah, Techless Blue would be your primary blue. Where's the old Hegpot? Oh, don't get me started. Oh, there are so many colours out of that old, old range that I would die for. Fucking chestnut ink. Mwah. Still got some of that actually. <laughs> and I'm hating the pots and then considering to try some of the army painter ones out. Mm, I don't like army painter, but you do. <laughs> pots were better and more value. Oh yeah. I miss that old range. Right, I'm going for a break. You can enjoy the music and look at the beautiful cozy. And I'll be back very shortly. Be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, switch back to that screen. Bonk, the bonky, the bonky, bonk, bonk. Uh. What's under crazy right? Uh, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, so she doesn't scratch. <laughs> right. Do I still have that reference image? Yes. Uh. All right, thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Um. This is going to be interesting. Right. Uh, we've got black for the outline. Now to find castle green. Should have a castle green somewhere. Campground. Green, grey. That might be useful. Split decision between a Votan or a Marine Reaver at the moment. Mm. I do like a Votan. Marines can go fuck themselves. Moss green, no. Burnt skin, no. My big guy is officially named Festot. <laughs> or Mr. Poo Poo. <laughs> not going to be a storm. That's fair. I'm not the biggest fan of Stormcast. I've painted two. I've got, a, I've got like 3,000 points of Stormcast. Two models are painted. <laughs> Is that a pastel green? That's a pastel green. And we need something just to add a little bit of saturation. Sap green. Maybe a bit of spring green. Using my remaining school towards skip bashing. Yeah, no, go for it. <laughs> that first one was cool. I'm just gonna chuck a lot of these in here. Make some space. I'll have to dig through here again for the coffee stuff. Actually, well, here I'll do that. Um, uh, flat white. Skin, there's a different color that was perfect. Orange, no, burnt sienna. That's it. Bit of off white and a bit of skin tone. Cool, we got the colors.
Um, really like Pete the War Gamers Keep Bash, even though they are universally <laughs> expensive. Yeah, never really did want it, but Stormcast seemed interesting. It was my first order after my 20 years away. Now I just muck, <laughs> muck around with them. Yeah, Keep Bashing is great fun. I, I don't like building models. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I never got into kit bashing. I paint to paint. Very few things I'll ever paint the same. Yeah. Kit bash myself a uh, plague caster since the Japanese one was so expensive. Mm -hmm. Well, soon you'll be able to get it a lot cheaper. Because you won't be doing stupid orders. So I got these colours for the coffee. All the nerglings and models, yep. And we got these for the freehand. Love playing games, I guess. <laughs> I enjoy playing games, I just don't get don't have enough time. So I'm just taking black at the moment, just so I can do the outline. I want a great unclean one for the Nogling with a sword. Ah, the mini no great unclean one. The mini me. There are places that sell bits you might be able to get it from. Most of the Muppets in town, and half of them I can't be in a room with, and vice versa. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Tiny and clean one, yeah. As of gaming, the games, yeah. Uh, it's where I struggle why I don't do competition uh, tournaments because a lot of people are just unbearable when it comes to tournaments. Time for some freehand. Um, freehand. <laughs> I can hate freehand. Time to check out Lord of the Print for a sick model. Oh, I love Lord of the Print. Do it. Can't say as of talking sector, but used to live with some of them and got to know a lot of gamers that way. And well, personal issues. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not gonna bother at all. Yep, understandable. My best bet would be paint up pile of Necromunda and introduce some of my mates to the games. Yeah, Necromunda is a fantastic game. Well worth it.
my most played game nowadays is Conquest. Ooh, I've heard good things about Conquest. I'm not entirely sold on the models though. I feel ashamed being proud of my free hands in this. I have... I, I, I would not be ashamed. <laughs> I am not the greatest at freehand. Winners winning the Used to that. Winners winning the Marvel class. I already have to do a bunch of cleaning up. <laughs> mm, that should be alright. Might actually bring this in a little bit further. Hardest part here is making sure I don't get it on the fucking hands. Just thinking back on my Batmarina, the Batman look like took me logo took me ages to sort and I was not a hundred percent pleased. Dude, it looked great. Yeah. No, no, but not everyone will get on. Who's the up? I hold down and we got the colors out. So we're going for a green gray. Don't need a lot. Pastel green. Granted, it was smaller than this, but I was still mad. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> you need a bit of pastel green. And a little bit of spring green, just to add some saturation back in. So just talking about like saturation, the green gray and the pastel green are very desaturated while the spring green is very saturated. So that's the sort of difference. Her face is very saturated, um, whilst her clothes and her hair are very desaturated. <laughs> I'll make one model with dark green and one with dark red and I'll submit the one I like more. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yes, there were only one submission per person. Whoop.
Miles is just a fucked up horse. <laughs> uh, so in other words, you want the Green Red Mini to pop without being Santa Claus? Yeah, that's quite literally it. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm saving my fucked up horse skills for the Nurgle model showing up more home first. Oh, I can't wait. Cannot wait for that dude. He's going on a different base because the base is fucking dumb for that model, but mm, so good. Um, uh, okay, Hixie, I gotta go. Take it easy. Have fun. See ya, Hecatone. Thanks for swinging by, my dude. I'll catch you later. Again, if you're not following Hecatome, please go give him a follow. He does some fantastic army painting work. Really nice guy. Okay. Did you want the leaf to be vibrant or did you want it to be kind of muted like the um like the mug itself? And um keep the focus on the face. Because it'll just determine how much resaturation I put in. Up to you. Oh, cool. cool. I think it might be a Votan, to be honest. Nice. No, like a good Votan. Said that before. I need three of those horsemen. <laughs> Do not start painting now. <laughs> start. <laughs> yeah, this is for Katie. This is Katie's commission. Thank you. I'm glad you're happy with it. Seen two of these so far, other was rainbow colored hair and the coffee reflected that too, as in a mug of rainbow water, that it was coffee <laughs> reflection, yeah. I've seen quite a few of these, this is a very popular bust to paint, for good reason, it's a very very fun model, it's good for practicing lots of different techniques. Uh, the action guys, you wipe my brow and I sweat my rust. Ten mil of resin for all my models and uh, Festus nameplate. Nice. 
That's not a lot. I got a uh, thousand mil for twenty euros. Yep. I know this song. Trying to place it. Mandra is radioactive. Yep, that's the one. Um, it says under if you look like just below where my f face is, it's got the name of the song. <laughs> song was in The Host or something. It was... I've never seen The Host. It was um, in The 100. Episode 1? Um, when they first step out of the shuttle. Blood in my bones. But never seen the host. <laughs> Forgot it's room right there. <laughs> My models allowed me to be very colourful. Love good colour. I used to paint very, very dark and muted, not venturing out into colour very often, but now I love it. Uh, yeah, I kept forgetting. Magic Dragon is the one band I've gotten a lot of respect for over the years. I'm in two minds about Magic Dragons. I think they're very, very hit and miss. Half their stuff is really good. The other half is utter garbage. Is my Black Kings, I made me colourful but muted. Nah. No. It all works. Stared at this photo to say what's the what's the be green and red. <laughs> Agrax I showed. Yeah. Agrax is a good way of muting things. So is Null Oil. See a green flame sword often. Um, seen a few. Uh, the Inquisitor model that I've got from GW is painted on the box art with a green sword. But that's warp fire shit that they're trying to convey.
Definitely need a different green though. Which I only have pseudo or flesh green. Is that a contrast? No, base. Ah. I haven't used pseudo paints in a long time. <laughs> Does it show? <laughs> Uh, before I do that, reinsert this center line. Thanks for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Do you want to cook me? Thanks for the resub, my dude. I appreciate it. My permanent prime sub is for you. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, those solid colors. Oh, fucking ace. That makes life easier. Can we get an Uru? Oh. <laughs> we can get an Uru. Um, do I have any? How about an Olo? <laughs> um, community. Nope. Oh, rewards, that's one. Don't have any emote slots left. Probably get rid of the rip. I'm guessing I'll end up ordering some 15 to 20 points of paint next week. <laughs> I hope it's not just for the challenge. <laughs> It's not the point. I don't want people spending shitloads of money on it. Uh, blue paints, yeah, blue paints are good. It's an owl. Oh, boy. <laughs> Love owls. <laughs> yeah, Katie still needs to paint her tea party. Don't you, Katie? I hear that often. Mm. They are nice paints, they're uh, quite a bit cheaper than GW. Oh, yeah. It's for minis I have and minis I want. Projects I'm stuck on. Ah, that's good. I need a great deal more pens. <laughs> Fair enough. Good. Good, 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 good.
work. They better not be gone. Can you work? Big tick. That's a big tick. Awesome. Excellent. I got my lead approved. Um, I know a certain someone who also has a lot of lung pain and stuff laying around. Uh, I'm sure we all <laughs> there could be any one of us. Yep. <laughs> Uh, early time I bought anything specific towards the challenge was the set of marines I made that, that marine form. Ah, cool. Exactly. But I made it ambiguous for my referring to for suspense. I don't want to see my unpainted model horses. Just the majority of the resin. <laughs> uh... Love horses? Oh, I don't like horses. I, I think I've seen your pile of shame. Well, not a pile of shame. I like to call it a pile of potential. I have a small pile of busts just up there. We're not going to go into how much money you see in there. There it is. Uh, only reason I never bought any of Rohan, the horses. Hey, paint them. Horses are hard to paint. Throw Assassin and Ergling on top of that pile of the shame and call him a greater demon. <laughs> It's what I actually want to do is put my sassy nerglin on top of like a pile of skulls or some shit and proxy him in, uh, use him as a proxy for a graded unclean one. Improves everything. Oh yeah, hundred percent improves everything. Talking about Rohan, I have the um, newest um, Theoden still in the paint. I'm not rubbing shit off, am I? No. I should take Octavius with me to Sydney. Fuck. Oh, God damn it. Do I take Octavius to the painting comp? Need a huge base for that proxy. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm happy to do that. If I were to paint a single rider Rohan, I'd spend a week carving fur into the horse. Nah, just paint the texture on. 
you paid your mug today. I won a mug today. Oh, hell yeah. Mugs are cool. We can get some really cool mugs. Yeah, that's a bit thick. TV nominate. No color with a play action design. I'm just looking at the check. I really wanna go flex. Go on my teeth and on my neck. Some color with a play action design. I'm just looking at the check. What do we think of the mug? Need that off white for a second. Got a great mug. Thank you. My perpetually stoned face. Mug shots, let's go. <laughs> One of the other mini painter streamers won a mug there today. Honestly, the fella channel that tipped me over into the painting minis again. Nice. It's always good to hear people coming back into the hobby. You can all have a good day. I'm gonna go to bed and catch some Z's. Gonna need all the strength to paint Big Stinky tomorrow. No worries, my dude. Thanks for stopping by. Been good chatting to you. I'll be back on tomorrow morning. Have a good night. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> Um, I think there's a button for that. Uh, I'm pretty sure he means... Where is it? These people. Nerd! Pretty sure that's the people he's talking about. Bonk. <laughs> that wasn't the bonk, that was the thing. So it was an actual draw, troll going raw. Nope. <laughs> it's the Discord noise. And if I'm not looking at chat, it will get me. Which is Ikigo's favorite pastime. But it hasn't done it today, which is odd. Imagine the jump scare and the leaf landing halfway across the face. Oh, there is reasons why I don't have jump scare stuff. And that's because I do not want to fuck shit up. <laughs> if I put the jump scare thing in, I get it, yeah. If I put the jump scare thing in, you know that's going to be expensive for you. Like, that's not channel points. That's fucking give me money. Because if I fuck something up, <laughs> I'm not going to be happy.
a little bit more line work. Thank you, Discord uh, Horsey Peaks. Ooh. Yes, yes, no, I've seen these. <laughs> you have so many. You got your shelf with your 3D print, yep. <laughs> I was just going to do the unpainted ones, but I did most of them. <laughs> it's not even all the unpainted ones. <laughs> got so many um, you don't want a bit of a bit of thick at the bottom of the leaf stock nope nope no thick we don't like thick <laughs> I don't have to do this so does need to be widened a little bit at the bottom Her fingers make painting this other side of the leaf very difficult because I'm not sure if I've done the proportions right. For jinx. Ah, yes. Looks really cool, thank you. I assume you're talking about this. Probably not. There we go. That is the leaf done. I think that's the leaf done. That is a lot of horses. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lack ponies. Katie is very good at painting horses. Today is a bad sad day, so I didn't go back to the barn today. <laughs> Aww. I have friends that like ponies and horses. I prefer cats. I like cats. Okay, last bit. We need the burnt sienna. Let me find something and drop in Discord. Different manner of creative. Yeah, no, go for it. Um, I like people's indoor cats. I love my cat. My cat is my boy. He's an idiot. But he's my boy. I dislike outdoor wild cat. Feral, yeah. No, that's fair. There's a reason why my cat is an indoor cat, because all the other cats around this area are pricks. 
Uh, I need probably this brush. Ecosystems, yeah. Is it in, it's in general art now? Cool, let's have a look-see. Uh, oh, reference images. Oh, wow. Can I put that in reference images? Can I move this? <laughs> There's um an art channel as well for traditional art that Intermodo puts all this stuff in for whatever reason. But that that's really really cool. Well done. Gave that to a friend's daughter that does horseback riding. That's Really well done. Mother and daughter got four houses between them and they borrow one point here at the moment. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's quite lovely. It's, that's an understatement. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I have no idea where it's from. It was among some art paints my dad did way back, and it was returned to me last year. Oh, wow. That is not a flat white. I'm just starting. Give me a moment. It will turn pinkish very soon. <laughs> I draw dino as living trees, sharks, and weird stuff. Yeah, yeah cool. I draw environments. Like concept environments, not environment, environment. What is a flat white? Just coffee with milk? I feel like you told me already. Yeah, it's coffee, milk, no foam. <laughs> Shot of coffee, rest of it's milk. Done. <laughs> You said art for whatever creative art matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, there's an art. Um, I'm going to change the name to like other art. But the hobby stuff is like for hobby, hobby. And then you got the art section for other types of art. If that makes sense.
it's a goal. We're getting this done today. Drop my pony. At least it's much shot in art. <laughs> I'll have a look in just a second. Uh, also, the first six parts of Cozy are now up on YouTube, if you missed any of it. Take your time, the you're the one being creative at the moment. No, no, no. Just because I'm trying to get it to not be a smooth transition between each color. I'm just trying to um stipple it out. Do do work in progress. A I don't like the face things in general too, but have to work through that. I think I'm getting close to calling it done. I look forward to not having this thing in my apartment anymore. <laughs> I think it is coming along fantastically, Katie. Wrong art channel. <laughs> no, I'm looking at your horse. <laughs> Looks great. Do do. Uh, memes art. <laughs> Raw T Rex. That is dope. <laughs> Can't wait to be done with it. <laughs> it looks fantastic. <laughs> Leave it alone. Uh, no matter that T Rex is dope. That is fucking sick. Did I miss words another? No, no, no. You're all good. You're all good. Um. Katie posted her abomination in, like, the model's an abomination. Your painting is fantastic, Katie. Um, but put it in the work in progress. It's coming along fantastically. Splotchy! Splotchy, splotchy, splotchy. You kid. What? Panel's great. It's in focus. I don't know what you're talking about. Or is my head in the way? <laughs> Yeah, that I'll finish it though. Hello there. Hello, Solo. Uh, one of the few drawings I have, drawings have I used a bit of reference photo for. Mm. Paul's Jurassic Park. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Jurassic Park is a fantastic movie and should be used for all reference photos.
a bit more pink in there. Great bit. Oh, the whole series is fantastic. I I personally even like the um the latest trilogy, the Jurassic World trilogy. I thought that was really well done. You don't want to drink that coffee down? <laughs> Seen all of it. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to get some white. I really love Jurassic World 3 for the oldies being put back. Oh yeah, that was cool. That, that, that was really, really well done, I thought. They weren't just brought back for no fucking reason either. They were just, they actually had a purpose of being there. Not a great movie, but it was nice to see them back being chased by the movie. I enjoyed the movie. Region, how you doing? We're actually just about to finish up my dude. <laughs> I should be working, but here I am. <laughs> How you doing, Rachel? We are done. I like Jurassic World 3 more than the second one. Mm. I enjoyed the end sequence. In the manner, I thought that was cool. Damn, yeah, all done. We have the coffee, we have the mug, face. I did stuff on the back, I didn't just leave it shit. Didn't like the idea, idea they started with hybrid man-controlled raptors. Look, it was heading in that direction. That That is actually closer to um, the original source material than Jurassic Park. <laughs> because in the book, um, all the dinosaurs are automatons, <laughs> which is just fucking hilarious. <laughs> It's a good book. If you haven't read it, you should read it. I can't read. Uh, I don't read it. <laughs> it's a good book. I really enjoyed Jurassic Park. It was a fun, fun book. But yeah, in the book, it, they're all automatons. They're not clones. But she is done. I just have to make the hole bigger. I read cookbooks, photo books, very little amount of fiction. Love I think fiction. Ah. Love it. Excellent. Yeah. 
make the hole bigger and then we can stick it on the plinth. Yeah. But she will sit on there. What's next? Um, so I got two options. I either continue with waiting or I paint a Warhammer model. If I can get this fucking glove off. Yeah. If I can get the glove off. I need to get more of these gloves so I don't have to keep this one. Oh, fucking shit. Uh, so I recently grabbed the Crimson Court for my Soul Blight. And I've built, well, Sammy built. This vampire from the set. So he's going to be fun to paint. I just have some gap filling to do on the sides, just in there. And then I'll properly put these in. And his arms. <laughs> Cut things off and stick them on. Um, Hixu will take a break, no doubt, from streaming to resolve the various legal charges against him for stealing all the hearts. Ah, oh, and his feet. <laughs> yeah, his feet are currently hovering a oh, couple mil up. But okay, so these are easy to build models from GW. And the easiest way to build, easy to build models, all these pegs, cut them off and glue the shit together. Don't fuck around with them. They're a pain in the ass and they'll never fit properly together. So like I'll be cutting these off. I'll be cutting the ones off his arms. Oh, the arms aren't too bad actually. They're quite short, which is good. But I will probably still end up cutting them. And the ones off the feet are definitely fucking coming off. Yeah, push fit. <laughs> Bit fun. <laughs> yeah. Push fit. Good in theory, bad in practice. I also really like the base for this. It's got a lot of detail. It's got bones. It's got stone. And it's got a stake. Have to say, um, following the box of Stormcast I got, they really fit well, but I love to mess around. So, hello, knife, bone saw, and glue. Yep. Um, this looks like a chess piece. I don't know why. But it looks like a pawn. I need to build the rest of these. Okay, let us see who we can raid. One tap. Sammy put this guy back together. Just so I don't lose any of the bits. Yeah, those, even the arms are coming off. So I'll probably paint him next. I need more hobby people to follow. I don't have anyone else to pull up. Well, let's see who I've got. Up. Uh, uh, let us see. Go away, go away. 
Um, please take, do take care here, so it was lovely to see your journey and lovely job you finished. Take care, chat. Thanks, no matter. I will be back on again tomorrow morning. Um, and Katie? She's all done. Uh, let's see. Tops on. She's amazing. Excellent. Cryo, how you doing? I'm just finishing up, my dude. Do, 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 do. I met someone today that will be very happy with the delivery. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out for Cryo. How you doing, Cryo? Uh, what have we got? There's not a lot of people on at the moment. Number. We might go to the top. Let's go to the top. Topolis is a fantastic painter. Absolutely fantastic. He is painting, I have no fucking idea what. Talon Squad from Limbo Division. Hmm, never heard of it before, but it looks cool. All good, playing some Guild Wars 2. Oh, nice. Nice. Great channel. Top, 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 top. So we are all done with the cozy. There is a thing there. Why is there a thing there? Cry it out in voice if you want to chit chat. Cool. Um, I need to find my bead. <laughs> no, I buy anything. Sorry for the deep look. No, you're all good. I will be back on tomorrow with something. Uh, check out the socials, the Discord, and the YouTube. Um. No, that's not really fine. Stop it. <laughs> that was like 16 layers of work. <laughs> oh, come on. Like, but this is like, what's it? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow morning around the same time. I should be able to go for a bit longer as well. Um, yeah. Thanks for the follows. I do appreciate it. Thanks for the raid earlier. And we're gone. <laughs>